Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tommy Atomic Rodriguez, your friendly neighborhood ecologist. How's everyone doing today? So, I'm in my studio setup today because we want to be a little festive and I can tell my garland's a little messed up now, now that I look at it. But, what are we going to be doing today? So we took a poll on Instagram and decided whether we should do another review video or we should do a how to pack video. Guess what? You voted correctly. I mean, it's not to vote, right? So, I mean, it's not really voted correctly. Popular opinion, we should do a how to pack a bowl video. So, I've never done one of these videos before, and there's a lot of different like ways to pack a bowl. There is a layer pack, there is a fluff pack, there is a donut pack, there is a compression pack, or... Compression? Right? Ow, that is my thumb. Uh, there's a couple different ways, you know, or dense pack is what's known for if you're doing tangiers or a darker, or kind of a more of a tough flavor to smoke, right? There's those different kinds of packs, and there's the throw it in method, right? Today we're going to be smoking some Pulp Fiction because I'm running low and I kind of just need to get rid of it. We're going to be smoking out of the 80 feet 80 root beer colored bowl. I actually like this hookah drum bowl. It's one of my favorites. Before we actually get to smoking and everything, we got to make sure we have the right tools, right? With me today are a few things we're going to need to pack a bowl. First of all, bowl. That is the most important thing. Second of all, you can use a rag or you can use a pastry mat or whatever, but, or you can go ahead and get yourself a pack mat made by Bracken Cox with his legendary socks. And of course my cat wants to play with the garland. Hey! Cats, am I right ladies? So, you can go ahead and go on the Etsy store and look under pack mats. I'll leave, this, I'll leave a link in the description below right there because I love this thing. Super cool. Right, you're also going to want to use foil if you have, if you're using foil for today's video, we're just going to be using foil kind of as a, you know, this is what most people use, not everyone has an HMD, right, at home. Other than the bowl and the pack mat, there are a few other things we're going to use. Right, we are going to need something to cover the bowl once the sisha is in there. Today we are going to be using foil because not all of us use HMDs. I am not using my HMD today because I have to wash it, because I was using it last night and I forgot to wash it this morning before work. So, I know, it, it happens guys, it happens. We're obviously gonna need the Cisha, like I said, we're using Pulp Fiction by Trifecta Dark, really do love this flavor, super good. And you're going to wanna use a foil poker and or toothpick, depending on what is available. You can also use a push pin, safety pin, and any other sharp object except a pen. I don't recommend a pen. You know, I was 19, I didn't know what I was doing, it's okay. Right, so these are all important things we're going to need. So, let's get in, shall we? Guys, now that we're up close and personal, we want to make sure we got everything kind of set up perfectly here. I know the light's a little bright for my eyes, but it's okay. So, let's we'll start by getting the Cisha. Cisha is right here. Now, you want to make sure, oh, you want to make sure you get your fork and kind of just swirl it around a little bit. Make sure you get all those juices all nice and good. Let me just get right here. All right, you want to stir it up a little bit. Not too much, but not too little either. Right, make sure you get a good amount on your uh, fork. Sorry about that. You want to get some on your fork and just kind of. Me personally, I like to do it above the above the lid right here because obviously the mat kind of captures everything. But I want to make sure I get a good amount here as well. So we want to just kind of start scooping it in. It is really is just kind of, you know, plopping it in there. What I like to do, and this is me personally, I like to make sure I put a little bit here and kind of get all the way around, right? Kind of pack it in as I go. And as the edges here, I kind of want to scrape them off to, the, to put more sisha back in there because I'm just going to end up. Remember guys, no seeds, no stems, no exceptions. I'm going to put everything perfectly right there. And don't be afraid to lose some of the sisha in the center divide, right? Because it is just going to fall out this way. So in most cases, it's going to come on the mat. But for the most part, for me personally, this is what I do. And make sure it's right there, right? And once I get that done, I like to go back and kind of fill the holes because I spread it out a little bit. What you can do is use the foil poker, whatever it is, and kind of just 
poke around and kind of make sure it's all nicely packed in there. Kind of get the rest off the edges and everything. And you can kind of see where everything is. Right? So for the most part, it is a pretty solid bowl here. Kind of get the all nice in there. As you can see right here, if I press it down, it is going to kind of lighten itself up and you can see where the where the shallow ends are, like right here. But we're getting a lot of shallow bits. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit more. Kind of plop it on in there. That way it gets a nice even smoke out of it. Right, and then there you go, everyone, one bowl. Now that we got the bowl filled with sisha, what we want to do is kind of just get the foil on there now. Now there is the foil, you can do the shiny side up or the shiny side down. Right, for me personally, I like to use the shiny side down, so we're just going to go ahead and make sure we get a nice covering there. Right, so what you should do is as you get, kind of go around the edges, Make sure you get every little bit right there because you can see how this is up and this is down. So use your fingers to kind of just make the hole around it. And as you're doing it, you can see like the foil kind of tightens up. Sorry, it's tightened up all the way around. So when you choke it, you can use your thumb to kind of press down and make sure it's nice and sealed, right? Right, and then you have a ready to good bowl. I did mess up a little bit here, but for this video, it just kind of serves our purposes. But once you're done with that, you just get your foil poker, toothpick, whatever you're using, kind of just poke your holes any way you like. You can do designs, everything like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and kinda do it really fast right here. And just like that, you can see that the holes are now perfectly poked on there. And we got one beautiful bowl to smoke. And just like that, guys, our bowl is complete. I know it's not that much of a video and it's not really much of a how-to, but hey, you know, I finally did it. I can check that off the hookah YouTuber checklist, how to pack a bowl. Now, are there any other flavors you want to see how I personally pack? Let me know how, let me know in the comment section below because, you know, there are different kinds of ways to pack certain types of sisha. So if you want to see something, how I would pack Tangiers, for instance, let me know what you, what you think of the bowl. Let me think, let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section below. So guys, that's all, like I said, that's all I have for you guys in this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Facebook under the Hookahologist where you can find our podcast, YouTube videos, and everything else like that. To find this beautiful face on Facebook, you're going to look under Tommy Rodriguez. And for find me on Instagram and or Twitter, you're going to look under the underscore Hookahologist. Until next time, guys, keep smoking.